Hi, my name is Valerie, and we're here today to look at the oysters we're growing in the Baltimore Harbor to help save the Chesapeake Bay. We're here at Baltimore's famous inner harbor, where the city meets the Chesapeake Bay. Healthy Harbor and the Chesapeake Bay Foundation have been working with residents and businesses to grow thousands of baby oysters every year. These oysters aren't for eating, they're for environmental restoration. The Chesapeake Bay used to be covered in oysters until the late 1800s, when people started taking them from the water faster than they could reproduce and grow. Now there aren't enough oysters in the bay, which is why we're growing more here in what we call oyster gardens. At the end of each rope, there's a cage with baby oysters. We have about 50 cages in this area alone and several other oyster gardens all around the waterfront. Baby oysters are very small and their shells are still soft. So we keep them in these cages to protect them from large animals like blue crabs or other bigger fish that would like to eat them. Inside the cages are what we call spat on shell. Spat is another name for baby oysters like these. And you can see they're growing on an adult oyster shell that was recycled from a restaurant. When the spats started out, they were just tiny dots. Now after nine months, we're gonna take them to an oyster sanctuary at Fort Carroll, where people won't be able to eat them and they'll be safe to live out the rest of their life. So why is it so important that we're adding more oysters to the Chesapeake Bay ecosystem? There's two main reasons. Number one, Oyster reefs provide a habitat for small fish and other animals. When oysters keep on growing on top of each other, over a long period of time, the whole group of them will form a large structure called a reef. Because of their shape, oyster reefs have all sorts of nooks and crannies where small fish and crabs and other animals can find homes, lay their eggs, and hide from predators. In fact, we often see other animals living here in our oyster gardens in the Baltimore Harbor. We've seen mud crabs, naked gobies, American eels, grass shrimp, and even a pipefish. Of course, these small animals are also an important source of food for bigger animals, like the great blue heron. So oyster reefs are important even for animals that don't live directly among the shells. The second reason oysters are important to the Chesapeake Bay is that they can help clean dirty water. The reason why the oysters do this is because they're filter feeders. Since they're animals, they need to eat, just like us. If you look inside an oyster, you can see their gills. They use these gills to breathe, just like fish do. But oysters also use their gills to trap any algae floating in the water. And then the algae moves up to the oyster's mouth here, and then into its stomach. But when the oysters are filtering water to eat the algae, they can also clean some of the dirt too. In fact, a group of oysters can clean a tank of water in just a few hours. There used to be so many wild oysters in the bay that they could filter the whole bay in just one week. Now with the remaining oysters in the bay, it would take more than a year to filter the same amount. So to recap, oysters are important to the Chesapeake Bay because they provide habitat and filter water. That's why they're considered a keystone species of the Chesapeake Bay ecosystem. That means we can't have a healthy bay without a healthy population of oysters. Thanks for watching, and remember, anyone can take action to reduce pollution in our harbor and the bay. What can you or your community do today to help save the bay?